I unequivocally rejected the racist assumption of much white American Christianity, namely that God had created a black man inferior and that he'd intended Negroes to be a servant class, he was of wood and drawers of water. I predicated my view of the mana doctrines of Imago Dei. All men, regardless of color, are created in the image of God. From this premise followed equality of all men and the brotherhood of all men. The biblical injunction of Acts 17.26 reminds you that he created of one blood all nations of men to dwell on the face of the earth. Well, I was most interested in brotherhood within his own race. Because if Negroes are created in God's image and Negroes are black, then God must in some sense be black. All right, people, welcome to another episode of Bar Talk JA. So firstly, at the get-go, we just have to say give thanks for all the subscriptions, give thanks for the likes, the views, the sharing. Keep it going. If you haven't subscribed as yet, hit the subscription button, give it a share, give it a like, spread it to the world. All right, so Bar Talk, we there. We solve all global problems. There's no topic that is excluded from Bar Talk, all right? If you give the Middle East crisis right now, we'll solve it. Now, about what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes, I can solve the Middle Christ, that go off for years, you know. Quite so, quite so. Okay, go to King Solomon. Okay, so today's discussion is Christianity, the Bible, slavery, and the black man. A conundrum that we aim to elucidate and also transform into something more understandable for the layman. Yeah. So. The Lucy what? Lucidate. 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 Big words. Oh, Tony, you tell no self vocabulary. Oh. <laughs> Yo, but, over to you. So, but, Christianity, the Bible, slavery, and the black man. Yeah, Barta J.A. Come like we Japan University, pan it. Yes, no, it. Come in, Jerry. All right, so now I do a, a quick little activity. Here, here one more of the people in a podcast and do just for, for a quick two seconds. Just one of them close them eyes. Why pan that two then? All right, a quick three seconds. One of them close them eyes and think of Jesus. Boom, you can open your eyes now in a podcast, lad. One of them open them eyes now and, and more them comment in the comment section. Tell me what you see. Or what, what the image you now have of Jesus. What, what color? Yeah, image, skin color. Because we are dealing with it from slavery. And we know that slavery is, is, is the way how the, the white man oppressed the black. And Not what them yeah, yeah that's the start of the oppression, really, you know, because really, yeah. and just leave it alone because the oppression still go on now. Yeah, it'll go on now, but I say it, it starts from, from slavery. And yes, what they yeah. do is that they use transatlantic Christianity. slavery. Tra- all right, mm-hmm. transatlantic slavery. And the, what they did is that they use Christianity um, as mm-hmm. the, the means or as the, what you call that now, the mechanism mm-hmm. for drill the slavery and for, for, for make black people feel less of, of a human than, than, than they really are. Now, they use terms from the Bible because what you can find is that there are different versions of the Bible. And during the slavery, what they did is that they, they coined a version of the Bible and had that version where they excluded certain parts of the Bible from the black man. So they used these, these little verses and, and chapters of the Bible to keep the black people enslaved. Slaves obey your, your earthly masters as you would Christ. Them kind of them kind of verses there. Slaves show respect to your, your masters. Yeah. Those are the verses that they use to, to keep the, 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 the black man oppressed. Even during the, the Bible when Noah um the flood and, and him and Noah's son come in and, and see Noah and him or whoever naked, Noah curse them say Noah curse the son Am. And I saw black, the black race started from a curse. Mm-hmm. So they must say the black man is forever cursed from the Bible. All right. So, Jerry, I'm not taking the curse that biblically, no, like, no, in the Bible said the am, um, it'll curse him and him turn black. Is he me? So, we have to debunk that No, that's a myth, not no, go so, is he me? So, yeah, and I'm is, saying, so hold on, hold on, so these are the myths that they use exactly to, to control the black man. Mm-hmm. So, and I like say, in the dead, they use this as puppet strings for, for keep the black man mind. The teacher. True. Yeah, yes, sir. Fact or fiction? Did Christians use the Bible to enf- enslave black people? Fact. Fact. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. So, Drew mentioned about slavery, whereas them use the slave. Yeah, they use the Bible, actually, and Christianity to control the slaves. And even after slavery, in terms of they, the people them get emancipated and you know, they're free, so-called free, um, 
they still the society still at the time so the society still use aspects of the bible to control the masses and it was done in the form of laws legislation why the, the word that, that what? some of the pronouns already for me now legislation Tom, tied yes correct one sir. Yeah, man. One of the yeah man we're not a bio so anyway, so the laws, yeah, man. So the laws were written based yeah. on the control for the mass right. by the, the, the elites, right? right? And some fragments still left up to today. So you know, I'm gonna bring up something in a, in a discussion. Yeah, man. Just, a pa- just a just a point, um, good people. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Remember, said the, the laws is based off most of the Bible, you know. Most of the country laws, right, 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 based off my Bible, yeah, man. Huh? So, all right, so Salomon, I don't know if you want to say something like opening us or no. Um, you told me I could start off with, yeah, Christianity is a white man's religion, the Holy Bible in the white man's hands and his interpretations of it have been the greatest single ideological weapon for enslaving millions of non-white human beings. Mal- Malcolm X. All right, then. But um, what I think should be also be mentioned is that it's a type, it's a brand of Christianity. As All right. Drew, did I say? You get what I mean, sir? All right, so yeah, well, Salomon basically quote something from Malcolm X. You see me? So we make that quote now. Yeah, I can say, yo, Nguvu after the quote, you see me? So it, well, I see you when I quote them about the Malcolm X quote there uh, everywhere. But I'll put that quote from Nguvu everywhere. So the white man's religion is not Christianity. The white man's religion is the religion of oppression, genocide, colonialism, imperialism, plagiarism, falsification of history, brainwash, education, division, segregation, and selfishness. The white man's God is money. The white man's heaven is wealth. And the white man's church is capitalism. And go for that. Remember this guy used to listen, man. Mm-hmm. You see the Arab, you see the Arab conquest, mm-hmm. the Arab conquest of Africa. Yeah, you get me. Was basically the stage at which Christianity came out of Africa in terms of the books and in terms of its historical content, because when the Arabs them invade, them basically wipe out everything. So when the Europeans drop in Africa, that is where it seems like. They brought civilization to the dark planet exactly. because it didn't because it seemed like it didn't exist before. Yeah, dark yeah. continent. You get what I say? So yeah, dark continent. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I say? So, so on a Solomon. Oh, true, yeah. So, so that's what I say. No, the, the the white man really bring the Christianity towards um. No, all right, then. no, me, no. Solomon, no, no, let me no. jump it away. Solomon, let me jump it away. So be a scholarly one. Remember, say in the Bible, you have a lot of reference to Africa, but people don't really, when I read it, it's like, they don't understand, say, Africa, the Bible mm-hmm. talk about, when the Bible says Egypt. Egypt, when make reference to Egypt. So basically, the, 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 the Jewish race, or the Jewish civilization, was at its origins, coming out of Africa, right? Judaism. And then, when yeah, we point pre- again, even right, the right. even, even can, Christ, um, even the Christ, Christ tell. King Salah, when I say this, you know, so basically, the Christ, born out of the Jewish Jewish, yes. Judaism. Jewish people. I remember yes, say the Christ did spend some of my childhood in Africa. Right? Mm-hmm. And I remember say in born. Well, I, well, I, one, well, one I remember, say when he, remember say when he was born, you know, he was a European. They were under European occupation. Because the Rome, the Romans, that like those are Pont- Europeans. Pontius Pilate, Europe, man. Exactly. A European, nothing not the white man there. Yeah. I remember yeah. say the white Greek, man. Not, not Greek, that. No, no Roman, 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 Italy, Roman, Roman, Italy, yeah, right Roman, Roman, yeah, yeah, Remember yeah, yeah, when, when the Christ was what? Just man, the white man tried to kill the Christ. Mm. Then I remember the Christ was crucified on a white man's cross. What we are doing? Know? No, go for what we are doing. No, are we, sure you no, so we are not, no, we are not, man, are we making logic out of the myth? Uh, are, no, are, are, we, are we, are we, are we faking the myth? Assumit again. For, 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 for reality. No. Assumit again. So, yes, yeah, some of you have some reference. Historical the myth, myth, the myth, the yeah. myth, the myth. Yeah, so them can understand. Yeah, the, mm-hmm. the myth, the myth that be say, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Um, God have sex with the mama and gay Joseph jacket. Mm-hmm. That's the myth, you know. So, if we are going to take that as yeah, fact. Right? 
conception. Immaculate conception that I meet. So we can't yeah. we are, if we are do this thing, we have to do this thing are real and logical. But the more I, the more uh, I say is that is that when I say oh we see it, so far is that the Christ was crucified on a Roman cross. That means it, it's a white man cross, the Christ was crucified on, right? So in terms of in terms of the history and who can say possess Christianity, it have more for do the black man than for do the white man. Because even from mm -hmm. the very early days, you see where the white man was in opposition. If you look on even under Nero, the early Christians were persecuted. The Colosseum mm -hmm. of Rome, them leg of lion and burn and murder. And them lion eat them, literally eat them alive. I, I so remember the, the, the Constantine, man, you know, free up yeah, Christianity. Yeah, man, and then when it comes to Constantine, you know, yeah. mentioned Constantine, you know, Constantine, you he, he realized that by the time him come on the scene, his Roman Empire did extend from Europe to the Middle East, right, to Asia right, right. Minor, the right. North, the North Africa, all of the earth right. was the Roman Empire. Roman Empire. But he had a problem in terms of he saw where Rome was crumbling, the empire was crumbling. He wanted to use something to unite the emperor. So he said, "Ah, right, then may go become a Christian. May I use Christianity to unite the emperor." Together. But it's not like him did come so boom and just put on him. Pagan ways. Cause I call everything outside the Bible pagan. Him never comes a boom and put on him pagan ways, you know. Him comes a boom and bring in him pagan ways for the people him and just change them name. So in other words, mm -hmm. look, on, look on Christmas, Easter, Halloween. Pagan Christmas now have nothing to do with the birth of Christ because Christmas celebration exists before. No, but, but, before we should, but we, you know, remember say, how do we go? I must say, Nice, Nice or something like that in a yeah, Turkey. Yeah, in a Turkey, yeah. We go must do so. What I must call it the ecumenic, many colors. Yeah, and a constant yeah. in himself. But wait, talking. no, but let me show but you a thing. On, but wait, no, man. People. Well, I when they made that well, deal with me. Well, I know, not straight point. Well, I know. Well, I know, man. No, we are talking about this rich Christianity originally. Oh, rich black man, no. Oh, rich black man. No, that's me. I should have a show wait, no, man. No, so, you hear how me I bring it to the black man? Yeah. Because me, I said, just like how Constantine used Christianity, or used the Bible, yeah. to unite his empire. I see him so in a slave time, the Europeans use Christianity to pacify and subjugate the, the West Africans, right? I'm getting a deeper remember, meaning said, to it, no? I'm getting a deeper started, meaning to it, no? I'm getting a deeper meaning, man. Yeah. The same Constantine, no? because that at the written time when them say Christianity was born, you know, when no, it really become... No, 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 listen, I mean, listen, that, no, that was a European aspect of it, you know, to exactly. that point where, because remember say, you know, at one point in time, you know, you'd have a man before Constantine, you know, I don't remember him, I think of something like must say, a Prometheus or something like that. Yeah, you have Nero. Vietnam, man, where did image himself like Christ. So where Constantine do his bill off for the whole of that, you know, and then give it basically a flavor. So basically, so the whole of Trinity. So now, so him basically give the whole of Trinity. No, man, he was a big emperor, man. So him yeah. basically give the Trinity. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So him, but so him give the Trinity. The fact is, you know, when that is right, you know, most of the bishops came from North Africa. Were helping yeah. write it. We sit down there, so yeah, most of them. So mm -hmm. it means, it's, you know, so, so the red, do a papa. No, man, listen, man, listen, man. So that is why if he main purpose was to ensure so when him run him empire, everybody yeah. run under one accord. Exactly. So if you do that, is have one religion. Yeah. But, so that but was this. But basically, he never really said, boom, he might go become a Christian. What he do is he bring in some things from the pagan thing. And no, but what is it, no, but what is it to become a Christian? Because remember this, you know, before, because what we are trying to do is how oh, oh, black man affected. And we mm -hmm. have to trace it. So we have to trace it by saying it was it came from Africa before the end of time. It get destroyed with the Arab invasion. Mm -hmm. You get what I say? So Africa come like it never have nothing. No trace to Christianity. You get what I say? So when it stays, you no know, boops and white man take it up and start make it look like a freedom one. I saw it start look like say a white man no. So you say no come no and come back to the discussion now. Yes. Then no would I say. Or it affect a black man because just so gone, just like all our cultures. If we'd have a Christian Christian culture, it was real. Exactly. So that's how it affects. So the conversation now would that be, mm. for example, teacher, be yeah. a that now, where the conversation that be. Oh, Christianity. Well, so so the mean of Christianity to a black man's life. Or how it affects no. a black man. No, yeah, it, no. Yeah, no. And to me, when to me, me don't know about race, I'm on them. 
I want to wear something. The brand of Christianity, I want to wear something can happen to black man. Yeah, man. No, so, I don't know so, the man in feel. I can't but you, Peter, I'm going to see what I said about that, and then we'll get Joe. So, Joe. Um, um, the whole essence of Christianity towards the black man is a disconnect because, first of all, Joe mentioned the whole um, image. And if most people close their eyes, most people, how is a white man, them see? Well, Michael and calendar. Yeah, him, him uncle and paint in the Renaissance period. So, to a black man, you know what I mean? It's like him, I worship this European or Eurocentric image. Mm -hmm. So, to a black man, we can't say the connection of worshiping somebody or seeing an image of, of our likeness. Marcus Gavin okay. mentioned it, you know. Where is the black man religion? The Chinese them have Buddha, you know what I mean, etc. And the Hindu Indians them have Hindu, etc. But Hindu. the black man now no, no, no correct image imagery in his mind. He just have a Eurocentric person. So that I my take on that, you know. Probably uh, another man who tackle it. Yeah, man, Jero, Jero, go to Jero. Yeah, man. Um, me, me, me agree with, with, with the teacher. Uh, as 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 we say, to so the religion, um, Christianity. Um, I guess how the, the, the European or the, the, the white man deal with it, them, them chamber chamber it up and take out bits and pieces out of it for suit themselves to use it. Well, as, I'm gonna hear that word, eh? yeah, man, chamber chamber. <laughs> them use it for, for to their suit, suit in, in regards to keeping the black man on a level. Yeah, yeah, well, 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 I'm well, I'm well, Remember, I said Christianity born out of Judaism. Judaism you know? it, it, remember, you have the eye for eye, tooth for tooth. The Judaism religion is too rigid. No, I, I mean, so basically, Christianity combo freely, soft from that eye for eye, tooth for tooth. No, See, but at the Christ, well, I said, 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 no, no, but, but no. But that doesn't make sense. If if the thing named Christianity and the Christ said, I for an eye. Oh, yeah, no, Christ the Christ never said that, Jew. I never said that. The Jews, them Christ. said that. The Jews, them said the religion, is too rigid. So Christianity was more, would be more suffer. So I saw you get by, I saw you suffer not the laws them and everything. So laws, again. as I said, laws was, they, they did that before, as I said. Again, let's go over it again. Yeah. First of all, the white man, the white race is the youngest race on earth. That's the first thing. The white race is oh, the rate on Exploit us. You get what I mean, sir? So, yeah. it means that everything that is known came before them. So, it means that exactly. Christianity came Was before, there before them. Mm. They can't be but a white man as religion. I said, what, as I said, what happened is that the Arab invasion, a whole heap of thing go on, a whole heap of massacre go on and destruction. And I saw that Christianity, that Christianity tradition come out of the African writing certain way. Mm -hmm. Remember, so when Europe come now, Europe are going with a bag of things, because Europe going with a bag of things. Colonial period, the man them going with a bag of things. Mm -hmm. Them basically reshape back certain things and take certain things. Mm -hmm. You hear what I say? And then write it all them want, write it, use it. Mention the Renaissance use. period. Remember the Renaissance yeah. period of <laughs> rebirth. That's where and, yeah. the imagery of the white Jesus and also, which, we, you know, which, you know, which you know, is still remember this, remember, remember in the Sarah, churches. So the Spanish Inqu Inquisition. The Spanish Inquisition was a bloody religious war. And also with all the Templars and all of them people. The Crusades and all of them things. Yeah, man. Crusades, violence. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, 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 it, so what we are to, no, I mean, I to show you, so what we are trying to show you know that is for understanding you know christianity is one thing you know but the, you see the black man and the slavery is another because you see the black man and the slavery is as a result of the christianity certain way so it seems like say the christianity so, so the modified, me, as a, modified that's why me as a black man can't be a christian it's just logical because you think now solomon can remember you say a while ago you know we talk about christianity the bible slavery and the black man so me think that there's a big gap between christianity and the Bible. Here's why there's a big gap. They are, they are you and the professor say, all the Christians them hold up on hand. 98% of the class put up the man. Them say thank you. Then after that the man say, who read the Bible? Put up on hand. And about two people put up the man and say them read the Bible. Exactly. So in other words, in other words, in other, you, you can't, well, but we learn an RE class. We learn an RE class, religious education class say, the Bible is the written word of authority for the Christians. So right. how, how is it that they have 
people who say them are Christian, but yet but still, read the Bible. They don't read the Bible. So that's the first disconnect. So there's a big disconnect between no, the, that, that, the it's Christianity. Not a, it's not a disconnect, you know. Here's why there's a disconnect, it's, King Solomon, because there is no Arab, there is no Muslim who does not who can recite the Quran the from Quran. front to back. No, but so, you know, so there is a disconnect. No. Yes, but the disconnect is, you know, that is why the black man with this Christianity, even even after slavery, they, they, there's a guess what the issue? The issue is, you know, we as black people, we're naturally spiritual, you know. Yeah. So we get the essence of the Bible, now we get the purpose of it, you know. So when I have to read if you got heaven, you know, but we read if you get a, a, a sense of peace or a, or, or a sense of direction or a sense of right from wrong or a sense of justice. You get what I say? That there is something else out there where I judge all of this and you eventually have a time for can have some glory. You get what I say? Because we're spiritual. The problem now is that Christianity in itself, where the white man create, is a branding for themselves. Where it basically come from a situation in the other day is all you use is a, is a sense of convenience. So the ninety eight percent we all up them and a convenience. Yeah, more yeah. feel like me belong to a commune, a, a religious community. Exactly, it's not a matter. But them don't, but they, but they them don't get the essence. Exactly, that means uh, me would not even me that struggle for call them Christians per se. They are not like Christians. The Bible, I hear no, but no, but they no, but no, they no. Then, wrong thing, we said they are Christians. They are Christians them, in the struggle. sense. No, they are Christian. Christian. no, they are, they are Christians in the they're, sense they're of white man. No, mm. exactly in the sense because of here's the white why. man want it. Look on the Pope, brother. Salam, I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something. Look on the Pope. Here's why I'm saying me that struggle for calling them Christians. Because, you know, it's a very the Bible. The Bible says, burn out some of them. Because you know? the Bible, like I said, beware and wolf who come in cheap clothing. The Bible brother, said I, not everyone I, knows. I, and... I, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say the Bible. I'd say that to Christians alone. That to me, as I say, you can read the Bible. But hold on. But may I tell you, the Bible. The Bible tells us that everyone, not everyone who says Lord, Lord will enter heaven. That means you ever try people... read, you ever, you ever, you ever read peace, you ever read not not like Quran it? I try see what I go on like Quran. Yeah, man. No, no, man, never do that yet. Yeah, yeah, I feel that, man. But oh, so, similar, it, it, it's similar to the Bible. In, in other, what may I say, um, Solomon is that why is there a disconnect? Because the Bible itself would I say, not everyone who says Lord, Lord will enter heaven. That means they have some people who are claim, say them are follow the Bible. But them not go heaven. Yeah, yeah, got the Christ say some people are gonna come and say, Did we not prophesy in thy name? Did we not cast out demons and the mighty works? And the Christ are gonna say, I never knew you, depart from me. You oh, workers yes. of iniquity. So in other words, yeah, I I, 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 so no, but if you are gonna criticize something, you have to read it before you criticize it. Scripture, you know, yeah, you, you, can't, can't, you, can't, you, you can't you can't criticize every, Every I'm black Christian, every talk. black, every black Christian, at two thousand, if God come now, a guy hell. You can't, me, me, that say you can't really criticize a movie. Every black Christian, at two thousand, one, a guy hell. Two thousand one, two thousand one, two thousand twenty one. Where must If <laughs> if Jesus come now, I'm gonna judge every one of them Christian and now. Yeah. What black man? The whole mm -hmm. and a hell, or the whole of them a guy hell. Oh, I'm basis for the set now. Because, 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 yeah, there's no true Christians. No, there is true Christians because if you read the Bible for yourself and I listen to them on the on TV, I come and I say, yo, if I look at the Christ said to, to, to the rich man, you know, sell what you have and give to the poor. Then I come on TV and I tell we for send them money for them to give to the poor. Oh, we now I say them, I sell what them have and I give to the poor. Because that's what Christianity now this no the and it is about. That's why I'm mean, not struggling for calling them Christians. That's why the whole of them are going to hell. All black man who are Christian right now, I got it. Black man, who is all black man? I mean, I no, I deal with black man. So all yeah. who, yeah. all who are Christian right now, I got hell. The one who now follow the Bible said this. A man like me, I got heaven. <laughs> <laughs> we have more than one girl. We have more than one girl like King Solomon. I live him best life and I try to ease himself and just try 
do the right thing. I mean, I got you, man. You, man. You, my time. <laughs> the whole I want to try to be Christian and attack. Oh, which way is this ever? Bona that I eat. Bona I eat. Bona I eat. Bona I eat. Whichever 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 I eat. The same way the Europeans do. They want, remember, said that what motivated slavery was not a matter of, yeah, they want to um, convert some people to Christianity. What motivated slavery was economic means. That's why I said at the start, the white man's religion is a religion of oppression, and the white man's God is money. So, therefore, and money they must serve, but they must have said, in order for me to gain economically, we oh. need for use them people here, we need for enslave them people here in order to advance myself. Right, so it's not really that's why that, that's trouble for calling people the Christians. Okay, you can never read the Bible where tell us, say, um, be your brother's keeper, yeah, uh, treat, Bible, treat somebody Bible, or you Bible, want to be treated. You are, the they Bible you're talking Bible about, the Bible you're you talking slavery. about, is not the true Bible because it's not tracing itself back to the true place. It is not, it has, it's a figment of white man's imagination. No, and a white man and black man and a white read man it. Bible. And the black no, Moses, this Moses, Bible, the Moses King James Bible, Bible, the King James Bible is the most King, King Bible King David, in the world. Moses never black. King, King James David. Bible, you know your message. The King James Moses Bible, never the King so, James never Bible. White. Moses you know, never white. Up, I know all these things, but I'm just yeah. saying to the King James the Bible, is never was, white. Is, but you're still a go around the thing. The King James Bible is the most sold Bible around the world. Yeah, which means that is that at uh, the King James Bible, him write that for himself, him write that for manifest for himself and the white man and for glory in uh, that himself. Black man read that every single day in a uh, them church and upon them pulpit. You can't uh, do that, brother. So, why so think? Why think? Why think when you're going to the church nowadays? The black, the black woman, them I fashion up and turn up because of them mind. Oh, so Christians shouldn't look good. Oh, so Christians shouldn't look just like Queen, what, what just like the Queen. Them we we both have we both have throat and say the name of Jesus. And if you say Ray, the Victoria. King of the conquer the world, a blasphemy. But, 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 but Solomon, the same, the same, the same Bible, black the same man Bible says, Christian, unless you go back to. Unless you go back to, to the, the original. That yeah, message, I remember, say, as I mentioned about the whole materialism thing, you know, the same Bible says it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a negro. I than do not want man. this. Is the next thing with Christians. This is the next thing with Christians, right? Through the eye of a negro. If you ask clear them, you know, if you ask them, no, if you ask them, you know, teacher, teacher, you ever ask that a Christian, so why you not do it? The Bible say. So we there. So what nothing else apart from the Bible say you're not to lead nothing else apart from that. The Bible say so you know not that the Bible say everything the Bible say the Bible. It's slow them, it's slow them reasoning still, is it? You know what I say the Bible say when a black man alone be of son, black man the most ignorant. Black man said the most ignorant Christian on earth, brother. But if you talk to the Muslim, if you talk to the Muslim, he know about Christianity. What if I talk to the Muslim? What are they saying? They know about Muslim? Christianity. Or you think Saladin? Or you think the great Saladin conquer the, 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 the Templars? Them. The man got to know said, and know everything about Christianity. And know read, say, oh, he, Muslim read Quran. So, yes, I'm going to say that. That's what I'm going to say now. Anybody who are with religion truthfully and purely cannot be a Christian today in the, in the brand that it is, which is the white man's brand. From you say the Pope. And you're a black man, you're a, you, 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 you got hell. You ever, you ever see black somebody. Christian them? You ever see black Christian them in Jamaica? The poor one them? Yes, them, them very the proud. Some old and, and woman in proud. the church, some old woman in the church who fight themselves for the pastor, old and broke. And the pastor <laughs> rich and young. Joke. Yeah. Anybody who are black and a Christian, unless you, find it, the unless you find pastor, it, unless you look find away. it, unless you find it back from when Arabs stayed on um, Africa, and when before uh you Ethiopian art and that shit, that's why the Rasta yeah. thing, that's why Rasta Rasta no? yeah. Rasta follow the, the Rasta form of the Christian the Rasta Artax, you know? yeah. Alright, so in close with us one say one blood, one race, one love. All the way you human race, the black and white, all just one race. Alright. We and through the, the, the Christian name in the past you used to call the, the pagans or the heathens or the heathens barbaric. But to be honest, Christians have been savage 
and brutal. Check out slavery and all them things in the past. What I said suggests is that Christianity requires to be purged of its hedonism. Like the things where Christians are doing nowadays, you don't see it in the Bible. That means it is heathen, right? Even if a pre Christmas time, come Christmas time, the biggest Christmas cel the biggest Christian celebration, you see beer Santa Claus, you see beer Christmas tree. That now have nothing to do with the birth of Christ. You see me? You really read the Bible, you don't see nothing born of Santa Claus. You see nothing born of Christmas tree. Right? Those things are pagan in origin. So Christianity needs to purge itself of pagan race. Even the Christian cross. The Bible never said the cross was a tea. In fact, the tea. The tea that we don't talk with them use, it comes from the Chaldean who we used to worship, Tammuz. Right? It is pagan, it preceded the Christ. Right? So what I mean I say is that to the people who are criticize the thing, you have to read the Bible yourself, if you really understand something, if you criticize it. You can't, watch a, you can't criticize a movie unless you watch the movie. And to the Christians them, the Bible is supposed to be the written source black of our Christians, authority. Black Christians, sir. Black Christians. Yeah, yeah, black Christians. So that's the other sort of thing there. The Bible is supposed to be the written source of authority. So if you are follow the Christ, you have to go and read for yourself what the Christ said, what the Christ did, or what the Bible said. Because the Bible itself says, you know, thy word, which is the Bible, is a light unto my feet, right, and a lamp unto my path. So therefore, if you want to know what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, read the Bible for yourself. You don't have to understand nobody. Read the Bible for yourself. So, that's it. So who knows? Jeru, closing. Amen. Come on, self, self, so you just do it. Amen. Is Christianity for the black man or for the white man? Christianity can be for the black man, same as it is for the white man. Now, for the black man, you just have to find Christianity before slavery because they make it seem as if there was no Christianity before slavery. So, yes, Christ, a black man can be a Christian if it's Jesus is black, Mary is black, the, the Moses is black because the Bible was was written in Africa so these areas in Africa the people there are black people so if you ask a white man about Jesus he will tell us that Jesus is a white Christian then about Jesus them, them going to show you this Jesus that we see on TV with the blonde hair and the blue eyes but then black people have become so hesitant the accepting that there is a black Jesus that if you ask a black Christian now out there what is the color of Jesus they are going to say that Jesus doesn't have any color or Jesus wasn't mentioned in the Bible to have any color but then he came from the land where the people were black so it's, it's time for black people kind of you know find your own um, do things for our own as, as the teacher mentioned Marcus Garvey said where is the black man's religion where is the black man's God we need to find back with God, find back with self, and, and, and follow the words of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the book based on the, the scriptures prior to slavery, prior to, to, to King James, as, as Solomon mentioned. Uh, so, the, so the people them out there, and Google mentioned something earlier, I'm just going to close it there, when he mentioned easier for the camel to go through the eye of a needle. I don't want to take it literal and take out going on a sewing kit and I take out needle. The eye of a needle was a gate in, in that area where it came from. And the only way that the camel could go through the gate is that the camel did have to go on, down and all foot and then would have to drag the camel through the gate. And take so out don't look and take, take out off the load of it and then put it back on for the next side. So I'm not going go on a sewing kit and I take out needle. So I that. Uh, go through the teacher. Yeah, man, teacher there. In the wrap up, all if a thing said by Ngoove and Jiro. So I'm gonna think we need to add any more to what them say, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Um we as black people need to read some more. Yeah, we need to read some more. I mean I taught the Bible too. Because I don't I think I don't remember, I think I drew mentioned I don't remember who mentioned it earlier about who for put up their man if they're a Christian and who for put up their man if they read the Bible. And less people put up their man to them read the Bible. So basically, we are following a 
Christianity that we don't read. It's like we have set of followers as black people. We don't search for information for ourselves. The Muslim them search for them for them thing. The Jews do the same. And the Hindu do the same and the Buddhists. When you come on to the black man, we just go in a church sit down and wait for the pastor to give we the information and we just suck it up like a sponge. We need to move from, from that type of religion and then, you know, challenge the pastor based on where he come with. Because the pastor can make error to you know. I remember the same pastor them I will hand down to them over a period of time. You know, from the whatever school him go to learn the pastor thing. So what I try to say, search for knowledge. Dig up some African books. Christianity can make sense now, but we need to move from the whole Eurocentric approach of the Christian religion where it kind of put the black man in a, in a, local, in a local corner. And the thing with the, with the, with the, with the Christianity that is taught to black people, you know, it, it, it you know, make you aspire to certain things. Like, you know, when you get wealthy and them something, they kind of limit you as a person. While the white man uses Christianity to make money to, you know, expand wealth. While the black man now is just like it humbling and look a corner. Like you can't seek more than where you can't seek on earth. Because we look for this heaven thing. Heaven, you have to death for go heaven. Heaven up on earth. Yes, sir. Heaven up on earth. Yeah, mm. man, so that's my take. We need to read some more. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh, uh, so I want to go to. Um, first of all. Rapture, man. Yeah, first of all, um, <coughs> people are telling me that even you know, black people play me not Christian, I'm not going to So they give up on the false instead. When I get rapture, when I get to 454,000, we'll get them out of the way. Um, <laughs> the Moses thing, Moses, so that Moses get a male ant and a female ant. A male, a male worm and a female worm. Moses are, are, are Noah. Noah. Female and female. Female. Bl- hello. Hello. Too much complications. <laughs> Why? Oh boy. They sell, they sell manna. <laughs> they sell manna. The manna and the, commu- the communal bread sitting in a supermarket. I never know bakers today have a recipe for Jesus' body. Yeah. You never know that. Yeah. Secondly, um, I mean, I eat no man body. I mean, I drink no man blood. Cannibalism, that. No man body, no man blood. Vampire. Thirdly, woman. no, I eat no man body, that. What? <laughs> Yo, Why? thirdly, <laughs> if you check the Bible, Judas did two times in the Bible. Judas did one I turn them with him, say, must him, him belly must be bust up on him, and him get up. No, check that. Podcast land, check that. So all I'm saying is, there's too many misconceptions. The black man Christianity today res- resembles nothing like what it came from. It came from the earth, just like every other religion. It came from one simple thing, piety, communal living, love, respect, humility. From you have that, you're a Christian, you're a Buddha, you're a Muslim. And you will go ahead. That's it. All right, you had himself. Yes, very interesting points. Bye, 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 my friends. I mean, very interesting. All right, just, just to make, um, just to strengthen, this, uh, for strengthen everybody, everybody's point. Christianity and black man, slavery. Um, first of all, the the, the, sli- the black man, the, this Christianity that, that, was, that was played out team was um, by by some chop, chop up religion, as, as, as was said. Chamba, before. chamba. Chamba, chamba. Religion was said, said before. There's, as I said, there's no, there's no really true Christians. Um, and and again, the Bible, as 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 I Google this this day, they have to read the Bible. But remember, you have a need guidance to read the Bible. You can't just take up the Bible and just read the Bible. So, you have to misconceive yourself also. I mean, also that's all direction. You need also context. So you have need guidance. You have really need guidance to read the Bible. Because the Bible is very, very, very um thing there. You know, very hard to read. So you need, you need like people like elders to tell you what that means and what that. that so um the bible itself the bible and and the black man is very very complex very complex um topic. but as i said as Solomon said all need is love i have god you put god in the center of everything that you do as was taught to us by um great prestigious christ that we went to just put god in the center of everything that you do i'm fine 
and you'll be safe and, and, and your mind will be free. Heaven is on earth, as my as a teacher said. So um just just have love in your heart and put God first all the time. And That's the God it. and the God depends on who you want who you, to be. Who, who you yeah, think who your your God should be. Should be. Yeah, all right, that's it. But, can't stop God of the creator it's like if you Creation can dictate who God is. But anyways, I rap for people now. Who are you, man? Um, <laughs> Every man have their own God. Give thanks for listening. Mr. Pastor Blair. Give thanks for listening. Up. Oh. Give thanks for the view. Up. Oh. I give I say like, subscribe, share. Smash the like button. Peace out. Peace out, man. Love. white man has an idea of a white god let him worship his god as he desires we have found a new ideal because whilst our god has no color and yet it is human to see everything through one's own spectacles and since the white people have seen their god through their white spectacles we have only now started to see our god through our own spectacles but we believe in the god of ethiopia the everlasting god God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, the one God of all ages, that is the God in whom we believe. But we shall worship him through the spectacles of Ethiopia. Do you know what it is to be a man? To be a man is to be a resemblance of the Creator. The image of the Creator. If you are conscious of the fact that you bear the image of the Creator, then you are a man. Man is a religious being. You may be a Christian. You may be a Mohammedan. You may be a Rasta man. That is your religion. We are entitled to our own religious beliefs. Because the white world has always tried to rob and discredit us of our history. They tell us that Tutankhamun, the king that reigned about the year 1350 BC, was not a black man. That the ancient civilization and the pharaohs was not of our race. But that does not make the truth unreal. Because many students of impartial mind know that we once ruled the world. When white men were barbarians and savages living in caves, thousands of our professionals at that time taught in the universities of Alexandria, then the seat of learning. No black man shall be truly respected until the race as a whole has emancipated itself to self-achievement and progress from universal prejudice.